Welcome traders. We have a fantastic session here tonight. Now at Master Trader, we are technical traders where everything starts with a compelling pattern and then we uh, that dictates whether it's a stock or option and a directional or what I call an income trade, which is just selling credit spreads. I know there's a lot of option traders, uh, other speakers and traders out here. I love options. The majority of my trades are involving options. And again, that's directional and um, income. But what we're going to talk about today is what happens when, when these patterns fail. Technical patterns suggest uh, behavior. They're showing the collective sum total of the supply and demand of whatever you are looking at. Stocks, ETF, currencies, you know, big, anything that moves is the collective market participants beliefs about uh, you know what the value is on that and we make interpretations of future um, actions based on that so setups can and they will fail that's a fact of life and the the interesting part about that is it sets up the unexpected so we're going to talk about what i'm calling these these shock patterns um, not only if you're in the trade, because that will happen, I guarantee you, and our success rate of, of trading stocks and options with technical analysis is over 85%. So it, it kind of just blows my mind that there's some traders out there, uh, particularly, you know, these mechanical option traders who don't believe in charts and they just trade by the numbers. But with 85% accuracy, why on earth would you not want to stack the odds in your favor of having a bias before you put on the, the proper stock or option trade? So we're, I'm going to show you these. So not only if you're in the trade, but more importantly is to recognize when the pattern has failed to create new opportunity for us. So I, I've been at this over 20 years and uh, we've uh, technical analysis. I've worked for a prop trading firm. We consult for hedge funds, high net worth individuals. And the only reason I'm showing you these uh, two pictures of what I love to do, I fly, I love yachting, is uh, not to brag about anything, but it's to, to say that this business that we're in of trading is, in my opinion, the most phenomenal opportunity of a business in the world. We can take our laptop, go anywhere in the world and we can find and create opportunity with our laptop with a proper objective approach. So you don't need any, any schooling in my opinion whatsoever. You just need an objective approach and me being a pilot and a, and a master captain and even an expert pinball player when I was a kid. Those skills in my opinion are more important than getting a graduate degree in accounting or finance or any of that nonsense, because that does not help you understand what really makes the markets move and how to successfully uh, trade stocks and options using technical analysis. These are some of our top patterns. I'm not going to review them in detail, but we're going to see them in many examples here. Buy and sell setups, breakouts, continuations, igniting gaps. I am going to spend a little time on the, these igniting gaps and these uh, M&W reversals as it relates to the shock pattern. So what is a shock pattern now? Well, very simply, it's when an incredibly high probability pattern where you're like, this is a no brainer. It fails. Well, the failures can occur in many different flavors. I'm going to show you how they can occur with these gaps, failed breakouts and breakdowns, shakeouts, these, these M and W reversals after they trigger a new high or low. I'm going to show you what we call these RBIs and GBIs. They're big red or green bars that are ignored. Now, just because a red or green bar is ignored, that's not a pattern. And none of these are just patterns in and of themselves. We have to go through the rest of our checklist to make sure multiple time frames, 
make sure it has what we call a price void, which I'm going to show you many examples of, and relative strength or weakness. And we have our we have our checklist before we enter a trade. Now, every one of these are different levels of shocks, but I want to show you two things on this page. One is, let's first talk about the red bars, and then I'm going to show you um, uh, how we love selling credit spreads on these reversal patterns. So whenever you see a red bar on whatever time frame you're trading, that means that the bears are in control of that bar because it opened at one price and closed below the opening price. But it's the overall pattern and arrangement of the candlesticks on multiple time frames that puts the important messages together to tell us what the tradable opportunity and the amount of the shock is. On the next page, I'm gonna show you um, the gaps as a shock, but many times these, these are expected. Like th this upper left is what we call our master trader buy setup. So the retracement in an uptrend on support with a reversal combination of bars is expected. This is a consolidation. I, I don't know what the bigger time frames mean. I don't know if this is a consolidation to go down or up, but these red, red, green, red, green, now this wide range bar, it's decisive on the upside. I'm going to, we're going to talk about these W bottoms more um, in a few moments, but this, this is what we call a downside shakeout or a breakdown failure. And it's also a, what we call a 180 reversal. What that means is you have an ugly, ugly wide range breakdown bar. Now folks, we're all traders here. Pretend that you were short in that bar. It, 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 assume it's in a downtrend, assume everything's wonderful. You are very happy. You're like, I nailed this, I shorted this. I'm, I, my unrealized profit is, is big. And then the very next bar, it reversed. And if we have this price void above, which I'm gonna show you, then this is a very potent uh, reversal. And then this one also was a flavor of a downside shakeout. It was a beautiful breakdown, but before the bar closed, wait a minute, I now have a bottoming tail and it closed back into the consolidation. That's a very valuable uh, message right there of a breakdown failure. So these lines I'm showing you is how we love to sell bull put credit spreads. We find bullish patterns where we say, hey, that support looks like that's going to hold wonderfully. <coughs> so we, we sell. We sell a put option under support. Then we buy a further out of the money put option just to limit our risk and the capital required at the brokerage firm. And then the difference of those two amounts is what's called the net credit. And then that is our potential maximum profit as long as the stock expires above this green line, the, the strike price. And again, we do the directional trades and we do these income trades if multi, I'm going to show you a lot of very compelling patterns here that are directional trades because they they have the beautiful um, shakeout with uh, the price void. But any pattern where we're just calling a short term top or bottom, we love selling these credit spreads. And in fact, at Master Trader, we have uh, we have a whole separate advisory letter dedicated to that called the Weekly Options Trader. All it does is sell options 
mostly spreads, but sometimes naked, around these compelling patterns where the, the option expires in 10 days or less. So we're taking advantage of, well, the, the three components of option pricing that we would make money on is number one, the directional. So with those reversal patterns, if the stock's moving in our, our intended direction, we're making money since the option we sold is decreasing in value. Number two, any kind of volatility contraction. And number three, time decay. So if we sell a five day put spread on a bottoming pattern day by day, even if the stock goes nowhere and just chops around and does nothing, we still are making money in, in our account because we can buy that option back to close it at a cheaper price. All right, let's continue. This is a shock pattern, what we call a, a pro gap, professional gap. And it's some type of consolidation. It could be a consolidation. It can even be a downtrend, believe it or not. But it's a gap that shocks all of the bears in this sideways or downtrend and consolidation. And then we make sure that the gap's going to hold on our intraday time frames. And provided there's a price void, then we do our directional stock and option trades. This one, I see the question bouncing around here. Um, okay, so this stock was in a multi-month trading range, just shorting the highs, shorting the lows. So whether you're a bull or bear in here, uh, but these three red bars are the bears. Now, what happened on this particular day is look at the gap. I, and we don't care the reason of the gap. It could be earnings, it could be good news, it could be bad news. In fact, I prefer it to be on bad news because that's a bigger shock. Very little tail, which means on the gap up, buyers were stepping up. I'm showing you the weekly chart here also. This was a breakout on the weekly chart. And that is a beautiful pattern for a bullish stock and option directional trade. Another example here, just a couple days ago, we did in, uh, for our subscribers, another trading range here. But this is the shock part. All the folks in this red bar, that, that's a bearish engulfing bar in a trading range at resistance. So the bears should have gone home happy. Very next day, gap breakout, no resistance to the left. That's what we call a price void. A price void, if you're long, means insignificant resistance to the left. Again, very little tail. So over a five or 10 minute high, we were recommending um, bullish stock and option trades. JD, another one here. Uh, this one actually was yesterday we, we gave this to our subscribers. Same concept as the other one. Two red bars here at resistance. It gaps up, no tail. And we buy, I think it was a 15 minute high yesterday. So yeah, you're going to get the flavor of these. So I'm, 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 I have a lot of slides on purpose just because the messages are going to jump out so easy of these shock patterns. This was some movie movie company I remember, HMNY. Now this there was some bullish activity here. So all the bulls in this bar and then even the next bar were happy. They were very happy thinking they nailed the low of this thing. What happened here? That's a bearish pro gap. All everybody who bought in these bars are holding losing positions. We teach all the aspects in, in our Master Trader Strategies course how this is just a bearish institutional selling chart here.
this was another beautiful breakdown and you can tell by the stock being at eleven hundred dollars they had a number of uh, reverse splits and look at this we we were shorting this so many times and this was at 21 bucks look over here on the left folks this is one penny this is the company went bankrupt it's trading for a, under a penny and it was eleven hundred dollars at one time most of us should be familiar with old roku recent ipo it's it's very volatile stock it's been good to the bulls and the bears <laughs> but let's let's talk about the shocks today now this is a big bullish gap there so all the bears here were shocked nice uptrend nice pullback look at this run not one single red bar until here closed at the high gapped up the bulls were happy as can be and then what happened at the end of the day big bearish engulfing bar a gap down another red bar bearish consolidation in the bottom half what then happens another gap down this is where we on this bar so see uh, my little note here at every star we were selling well not at everyone not on this one not on these two but these first two stars we were sell, selling out of the money call spreads and on these other two stars we were selling out of the money put spreads but on this bearish gap down from this overall pattern we were shorting the stock this day then this is what we call a master trader bear one two three pattern which triggered with the gap under the green body opening price five minute low we shorted it again it's starting to get its sea legs back here on this prior support and then we turned our bias to the long side this is a very interesting gap that i, I give it a i've labeled it a special name and it's called the bearish gap that bullies what the heck does that mean well that's a bearish gap the stock closed here and it gapped down you know over two bucks and what happened on the right is my uh, 15 minute extra day time frame bearish gaps that fill the gap in the first 30 minutes with a price void again remember price void means it had a big move down and there's insignificant resistance to the left which means it has room to advance towards the prior resistance areas that's on my watch list to get on board long and so it moved up you know consolidated in the upper third of this bar which is very bullish the next day we bought the breakout bearish gap that bullies and it obviously works in reverse this look at this shock pattern one of these remember marijuana was the was <laughs> the bitcoin stocks when they were had their frenzy so look this was a dollar stock went up to 14 and change and then get this is what we call a climactic buy setup so this is this is on our on our watch list to short it's just a matter of when i'm going to short it well the next day it had a bearish gap and so we were looking to short it on a bounce this is a shock that i'm calling a downside shakeout this had a big move down bear it this is in a downtrend folks right lower lows lower highs lower beautiful breakdown didn't go very far went sideways went back up deep into resistance now we are monitoring this in the afternoon to go long 
because of this big price void. And it's also, you know, for you classical technicians, it looks like a reverse heading shoulders. So we bought this breakout here, stop under these tails and manage in between. This is a shock pattern that I've also given a special name to called the bear and bull sandwich, but I'm only going to show you the bear one. When you have, and here's the setup right here, it's very simple. I have two wide range bars, bullish ones. So I got a big green bar, a big green bar, and the middle bar is a big red bar. So just like when you go to the New York deli and you say, hey, I want a chicken sandwich, the chicken is in the middle of the bread. That's why I call this a bear sandwich, because these are the bears. Red, any red bar is a bear. Like I said in the beginning comments, that doesn't mean that these are tradable in and of themselves. You still have to overlay the other master trader um, components to see if it's a high probability setup. And this one was because of the retracement back to resistance. I have rising 20 and 50 and 200 period moving averages in the bear sandwich was a shock, which made this breakout more powerful. This is a shock pattern that we call a breakout failure. <laughs> It's been in a strong trend, uptrend. You have a couple of sideways consolidations, bullish breakout. The next bar should not be a bearish inside bar. That put, on, that put us on alert, danger, danger, possible breakout failure. The next day it gapped down, which made our entry a little tougher because of the, because your stop has to be the prior bars high. But then we got the luxury of two more sideways bars and it gapped down again. That was our short entry with a stop over these topping tail bars. <clears throat> breakout, that was a breakout failure. Now here's a, a different flavor of breakout failure. Nice uptrend. Here, here's a nice red bar ignored right there because that suggested lower prices and it immediately returned. So the, these, a concept that we say no follow through to red bars is a bullish event. So this, this bar right here closed to new highs. So that was a beautiful, beautiful bullish close and a breakout. You could buy over the high of that. Stop under, you know, either this bottoming tail or give it a little further over here. The next day it gapped down a little bit, but then continued to rally. So keep in mind when you're looking at these candlesticks, this is the close of the candlestick at the high of the candlestick was a big green bar. So the, the, the bulls were very happy that they bought a breakout and it closed it, that it was at one time in the day, it looked beautiful. And now at the end of the day, it closed with a topping tail under the prior bars low. That should not have happened. So that is your shock pattern of a breakout failure. The next day, you know, it closed green with a little bottoming tail, so it's neutral. But then the next day where it closed under this green bar and I have a price void because of this big move here, that was our short entry. We love trading these um, M tops and bottoms, and I'm just giving you three different flavors of them. This is what we, let's just focus on the bullish ones here. 
So the stock came down. Now, bear in mind, this is still in a downtrend, right? So it's down, it bounced a little bit, and it made a new low, which the bears thought it should do. But then it closed with what we call a potent reversal bar. Potent meaning it stands out, it's big and fat, and it engulfed this thing. With this price void to the left, that's a very powerful reversal signal. This is just a different flavor. We say deep move into resistance and then a retest of the prior low. Third flavor, this is my potent reversal on the first one. And then it comes down and retests it again. Those are all different flavors, but I, I kind of like the, the new low um, the best because it sucks in new bears on the breakdown. And then they're shocked and have to scurry to cover their losing position. This was Facebook. We, I, you know, volatility rises on these sell-offs and when they're in the middle of the news. So this was a couple months ago. The FTC was probing Facebook over their use of data. The stock dropped 12, almost 13% in three days. And so when I see opportunity like that, folks, I, I tell the people in our green trading room, we will be trading you on the long side. It is just a matter of when and what the picture looks like. Well, this picture turned out to be a beautiful W bottom. And we, we were day trading it, um, but we all, because of the high volatility was off the charts. These are our favorite, um, well, not the favorite, but one of our favorite types of selling bull put credit spreads. And we sold um, the $155 way out of the money puts. We bought the 147s, took in 56 cents a share. So if you did a 10 lot, that's $560 goes into your account. Folks, as long as it closes in three days above 155, you make 560 bucks. But our, we still stop out. We, we don't go into hope mode and just roll in perpetuity like some people do. If the pattern which substantiated the trade fails, we get out. And then we hit the sidelines and wait for a new setup. So over the high of this bar, we sold that put spread, stop under the lows, or you know maybe I said a dollar under these lows just to give it a little bit of wiggle power. And this was 7.5% return on capital. And the stock could still go 6% against us. These are some other flavors of reversals. You know, pulled down the support and this gap fill. Um, it's chopping around here and then gapped up. That's our go ahead to, to buy the stock for a swing trade and also to sell these out of the money put spreads. Another one came down hard, held this major. Now, see, this is a price void. When a, when a stock goes straight up like this and doesn't pivot, there it, had, it doesn't have significant support on the way back down. Uh, so th this was our major pivot support right there. It held, it bounced up, held it again, red bar ignored. That's what we call a no-brainer setup. And that also would have been perfect for um, any bullish stock or option trade. HFC, this is actually a, a, um, a trade of ours that we're um, still in. Now, this was a breakdown. You can see it was in a downtrend, lower lows, lower highs, I declining 20, 50, and 200 period moving averages. This is what we call a bearish one, two, three breakdown. So folks, let, just pretend that I took that trade. That is a quality short setup. You have a wide range bar, you have an inside bar in the lower one third, it gapped up and traded under these lows. That's a valid short setup. The next day, it closed green above the open. So we would have said, okay, you know, no harm. But the very next day, 
it retraced that red bar inside bar gap down trades over the high we would have been out of that trade we would say this is telling us that this stock is not going down anymore in the near future you see the explosive move that it did here it broke down again it traded under this major pivot support a bullish 180 reversal it had a bullish close a red bar remember i mentioned that term a bear sandwich this is close to being a bear sandwich we gave this to our subscribers over the high of this green bar and it had a, had a beautiful move up uh, this is the perfect examples intel here there's two beautiful shocks two this came in nasty downtrend tried to bounce this bar just act, just ask yourself folks if you were a bear in this bar you would be at the local happy hour saying yep i'm short intel it's a dog it's it's lagging the the smh sector closed at the darn low the next day i'll be buying drinks and then it gaps up three inside bars three inside bars and then a gap up and it's not taking out the low the message of this bar this gap up now has negated the meaning of this bar now it's on my radar screen to go long does that mean i buy it on this bar no because if you go through the rest of the master trader checklist there's no price void there's no pattern uh, but it's a definite watch it moved up it moved up through resistance has one bar here with a bottoming tail now i got you i'm buying over the high of this red bar because i have a price void it gapped up and so we bought a five minute high here pull back gap fill converging moving averages ugly red bar suggested lower prices 180 reversal again here's my bullish one two three continuation i mentioned inside bars in the upper third of this price void this is what we call a no brainer no brainer bullish setup and that is what trading is all about i'm talking about shock patterns even though i'm entering these no brainer patterns does that mean that intel cannot open up at 49 dollars the next day absolutely not of course it could but we are technicians we're trading the mess the high probability messages of these patterns and all right so one more example here this again was recent the the recent um, fed meeting 15 minute of the um, s p 500 etf the spiders nasty downtrend you know interest rates trade wars <clears throat> impeachment you know pick whatever flavor you want we really don't care the markets are at all-time highs right now with all this worldly problems that's why that's what we call noise we trade what's called reality and price price action and candlesticks and patterns and trends and pivots is reality so nasty downtrend wide range igniting down on some i don't know 10 a.m number deep this is a deep retracement into this it's getting its sea legs back negated the red bar so that's my shock pattern of what it negated it it just took a couple bars to negate it instead of one then i got my buy set up and over this green bar engulfing we gave that as a long to our subscribers and as you know the spiders are at what like 306 right now this was the dead low of the recent reversal from this pattern that i'm sharing with you today folks the uh the shock pattern of um 
you know, breakdown failure, red bar ignored, price void. You got to put all these concepts uh, together. So what I have here for you as, as our offer is this is my partner, Greg Capper, who is the most phenomenal technician I've met in my life. Uh, he has this swing trading course that will teach you how to trade anything that moves objectively, understanding the messages of the bars, the trends, everything I've been talking to you about in the last 40 minutes or so. It's in an incredible thought building um, process. <clears throat> You buy that course. You've heard me mention credit spreads a couple times. We're going to give you our advanced credit spreads course and our swing and options letter. So that's uh, that's 97 bucks a month there, and that is the the byproduct of everything that we give our subscribers in terms of swing trades, stocks and options, detailed market review, etc. Go to mastertrader.com forward slash swing special. And you can also check out mastertrader.com forward slash spread trader. And you can read about our advanced credit spreads course, the mastering course, and then this throws in the green room and the weekly options trader. And on our website, you can obviously read about our swing and options trader um, also. So there you have it. I hope, uh, I hope that was uh, very beneficial for you. Good luck in all your trading. Feel free to email me, dan at mastertrader.com, anytime, and wish you the very best, and see you next time.